It is the end of April in 2022, and we felt that it was time to do an update because our season's finally really starting to pick up. We've had lots of cool upgrades, and there's an amusing story, I guess, with dealing with the ultrasound and whatnot. So let's jump into it. We kind of realized that all of our clutches were gonna be coming at the same time, and that our small incubator was not gonna have enough space for all of the clutches that would be incubating at the same time. Uh, last year they were spread out well enough and we had a few enough clutches that an incubator fitting three hatch boxes was really okay for us but we have a lot more this year and they're all coming at the same time so we went ahead and we got a bigger incubator so that we have it ready for all the animals that are going to be filling it up. Jumping back to March, we had several of our females who were building really, really well. Like lots of them were over 30 millimeter follicles. Everybody was like, that wasn't over 30 millimeter follicles was crushing food and it was looking like that we were gonna have a really, really good season. And in March, we had two females that had sheds. They were both over 30 millimeter follicles. And we were like, oh, these are gonna be our first prelay sheds for the season. And the ultrasound's really, really nice because it lets us monitor their follicle growth throughout the entire season. And we didn't realize how beneficial this would be. There was actually a couple different situations where we knew that we needed to get a lock-in so that way we could pretty much guarantee that we'd have a good clutch. And we wouldn't have been able to do this without the ultrasound. For the two snakes that had sheds in March, the first was our Hidden Gene Wilma granite female that had been paired to our banana leopard pastel male. And there's a whole thing on when we originally got him, we thought that he was het albino. We paired him last year to a visual albino, seven eggs, no albinos. We have a whole, I'm pretty sure we have a whole video on it that we'll throw up on the end screen of this one if you wanna check out that because it was, it was pretty disappointing. But he's awesome breeder. He locked with her several different times. She built, build, 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 I, I don't know. She grew her follicles really, really quickly and because she was like 35 millimeters when she went into shed, we were like, oh yeah, this is pre-lay shed. We are super, super stoked. And then the other girl is our clown female, visual clown female, no extra genes, who's been paired to our sunset male. And this girl was at maybe about 30, 32 millimeters when she went into shed. So again, we were like, oh yeah, pre-lay shed. We were super, super stoked. April 1st comes around and even though we had ultrasounded, even though we knew that she was like past the 30 millimeter 30 millimeter mark, she didn't lay any eggs. And we were checking like 20 times a day and Courtney would be like, you're gonna stress them out. Don't don't keep checking on them. They're gonna be there or they're not gonna be there. Just, just chill. And it went to about a week after her due date. So it was like the first week of April, went past no eggs and everybody else is posting eggs on Instagram and we're getting super, super jealous. But there was no eggs and we're like, okay, maybe it was a pre-ovulation shed rather than a pre-lay shed. And we just kind of like, kind of pulled back on it. And it was a little disappointing, but nothing bad. In the meantime, we finally got our 5540 in from ARS and we are stoked for it. So we had been using these, uh, besides our 7030, we had been using these DIY racks that we actually still have and we use for our quarantine. But while they work and that it's 100% good and like good way to take care of animals, the fact that we had to use tubs that had locking lids. Whenever we were gonna do anything, we had to pull the tub out, put it on the table, unlatch the lid, do any water changes, feed, anything like that, then pick up the whole tub, put it back in. And the ARS racks are just way more convenient. We really, really like them. So we had actually ordered our 5540 the very first week of December, but there was some supply chain issues specifically with the heat panels. And it ended up being until April before we actually got it. And last week we were going through and at the end of every night, we kind of check on various different snakes just to make sure that there's nothing going on. If they need water, if they need to clean anything, or if they are a female and may potentially lay if they've laid eggs. So last week it is like 10 o'clock at night. We're exhausted, like straight exhausted because work had been like ridiculous. And I opened up Hydra's tub, who was our hidden gene warm of granite, and there was eggs. And it is not only the first clutch of the season, it is our biggest clutch so far. We got 10 eggs from Hydra, who is our granite hidden gene warm of female. She was paired to Daro, our banana pastel leopard male, and 10 eggs. It's a pretty big clutch. We're really excited about it. Uh, we're excited to see the babies. We have them split into two hatch boxes. 
the hatch trays we use have like grooves for 10 eggs and at first we thought they were all going to have to stay clumped together but i prefer having less eggs in a hatch box because of uh, like heat distribution and everything so we have five eggs per box and um, they are sitting in our smaller incubator we don't actually have them in the sea serpents incubator but we are expecting a, another clutch by the end of this week that i also think will be a larger clutch so we have um space for that one in here we have ultrasounded our clown girl pennywise who is do any day now and we're expecting quite a lot of eggs from her she just looks full when we look at the um ultrasound and we only thought we were getting eight from hydra and we got two little surprise eggs in there so that was really exciting and it also shows that even with an ultrasound you can get surprises we expected hydra's clutch on the fourth and we got it on the um, 19th I believe yeah the 19th of April so she was about two weeks off from what we expected and Pennywise is kind of doing the same thing we thought she would lay the 7th and it is now the 25th and I don't really know what's going on there on as far as how we have been off for both of those off their prelays but um, it's kind of nice to be surprised right uh, we have one more girl who's had a prelay shed, Sarabi, which was our bell clutch from last year. We've repeated that pairing and um, she went into her prelay shed very recently. I think she went into her prelay shed. She had her prelay shed uh, on the 22nd. So we're looking at eggs 30 days from them and we're really excited about that. Because we just got our first clutch, we aren't going to see any hatchlings until June and it's going to be a little bit of a later season for us, but we're really excited about um, all of the babies that we're going to get. We definitely need a place for all of the babies, um, especially since we're getting such bigger clutches this year. So we've also purchased um, hatchling tubs and a hatchling rack to put those uh, new, new additions in while they're still here with us before uh, they move into either the grow out rack or they go up for sale. So we have a lot of additions coming into the shop this season already and we're really excited for how smoothly we expect the season to go versus last year when we were in a bedroom in the house with a refrigerator as an incubator and a DIY rack. So really excited about the upgrades this year. We're actually doing a couple different lives and interviews with people uh, coming up. So we are going live with Keys Constrictors on June 22nd. Steven is going to be going live with Adam from Proper Royals on his YouTube channel on the 10th of May. And we also did an interview, a 15 minutes of lame with Chris Eaton on Snakes and the Fat Man. So that episode's gonna come out, I believe in May, we're gonna be on there with Luke from Lizard Morphs. And we are super excited to have gotten to do that with him. We're really excited to go live with Keith. That's gonna be our first time on his show. Steven and I have both done lives with Adam at Proper Royals and we're excited, or he's excited to go back. I'm gonna be busy that day, so it's just gonna be Steven. But uh, yeah, so we're really excited about those interviews and lives coming out. Y'all should definitely check them out um, because we have a lot of fun doing them and they're always really great. I'm going to shamelessly plug our social media now. We hit 10,000 followers on Instagram last week. We were so excited about that. That was one of our goals for 2022. We started that page in August of 2020. So it was really exciting to hit 10,000 followers in less than 10 years, in less, well, two years, also 10 years, but two years. In less than two years, we hit 10,000 followers really excited about that we absolutely love interacting with people on there so if you don't already follow us on instagram check that out we also have a tiktok account if you would like to laugh at my cheesy tiktoks make fun of how cringy i am go ahead and check me out there uh, i say me instead of us on that one because steven has nothing to do with that so it's very low quality. All right, and if you don't already follow us on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe, like our videos. We appreciate that a lot. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching the video and we'll talk to you next time.